We are looking at a very, uh, very important co question, a very important example because from this example, you'll be actually uh, trying many concepts and when you will be trying many concepts in one question, you know, many things will be revised. So this is a very good question, but what I advise, I have given you the concepts, what you should do, try to solve this example on yourself first and then look at what, how I am solving. That would be good. And if you are able to solve write the answer in the comment box so that i know that you solved it by yourself okay i'm starting now see question is a die is tossed thrice a success is getting one or six on a toss find mean variance and standard deviation of the number of successes how will get the probability distribution the discrete for the discrete probability distribution we need two things first is xi and second is pi this is the variate and this is the probability associated with the variate. What are the variates? A die is tossed thrice. That is there are a number of trials. Throwing or tossing a die is a trial. So there are a number of trials. A success is getting one or six on a toss. That is we have an event. That event is to get one or six. Now question is in the number of successes. That is we'll have to find if out of three we have two uh, events where we get one or six that is out of n number of trials r number of uh, exactly r number of times when our event e has occurred this is binomial this can be obtained by binomial theorem of probability so what is binomial theorem of probability it says this is equal to n c r that is the probability is given by ncr p if the probability of getting one or six is p then p to the power r and q is one minus p that is not getting that event this is n minus r this is the and this is what we get from banamil theorem so now we'll apply it let's say as i said p is the probability p is the probability of getting one or six in one trial in one trial clear then q is probability of not getting one or six in one trial clear what is it getting one or six one out of six the probability is one by six and six is again one by six so if we throw a die either getting 1 or 6 that is 2 out of 6 the probability is 1 by 3 therefore q is 1 minus 1 by 3 that is 2 by 3 obviously 2 3 4 5 4 by 6 so that is q now we have p and q now what are the possibilities of successes first time we throw the 3 3 not 3 we throw the die 3 times let's say the variate is zero that is we don't get success any other time that is this one xi this or it can be written as p x equal to zero clear xi equal to zero what is this this will be n n is three and c is zero getting zero times p that is one by three to the power zero to the and then two by three to the power 3 minus 0 that is 3 what it will be how do we calculate it factorial 3 factorial r factorial n minus r so this is 1 and this is 2 cube is 8 3 cube is 27 okay so this is 8 by 27 so so for this it is 8 by 27 this is our discrete probability distribution second let's calculate it for one that is out of three we have at uh, success at least one time that is 3 c 1 1 by 3 1 2 by 3 2 so this is factorial 3 factorial 1 factorial 2 okay 1 by 3 4 by 
9. This is 3. Then 3, 3 cancels. So, this is 4 by 9. So, for xi equal to 1, this is 4 by 9. Let us calculate it for x equal to 2. 3 c 2, 1 by 3, 2, 2 by 3, 1. So, this is factorial 3, factorial 2, factorial 3 minus 2 that is 1, 1 by 9, 2 by 3. So, this is factor, this is we get 3, 3, 3 cancel. So, this is 2 by 9. So, for 2 it is 2 by 9. Then for 3, that is we get 1 or 6 each time, every time. We have thrown the die for 3 times and every time, that is the first, second and third, we are getting either 1 three or 6. We will have, we'll have 3 C3, P that is 1 by 3 to the power 3, 2 by 3 to the power 3, R, this C n minus R, that is 3 minus 3, 0. So, this is factorial 3 by factorial 3, factorial 0, 1 by 27 and this is 1. So, this this cancels. So, the, the probability is 1 by 27. So, for 3 it is 1 by 27. Okay. So, we have uh, created our discrete probability distribution. Now, from this is the first part. From probability distribution, we can find the mean variance and standard deviation. How? Now, I am doing. Uh, I had told you in the last lecture, what is mean? mean is x i into f x i that is what we call p i that is x i into p i. So, we will do that x i is 0 into 8 by 2 7 plus 1 into 4 by 9 plus 2 into 2 by 9 and plus 3 into 1 by 27. This is 4 by 9 plus 4 by 9 plus 3 1 by 9. So, so this is 4 plus 4 plus 1 9 9 by 9 that is 1. So our mean is 1. This is our first answer. Clear? So we have found the first answer mu is equal to 1. Now we are doing the second part. It says variance. What is variance? You are well aware of this formula. I had told, I had discussed this in the last class also. And if you are, if you have any difficulty, you should go to my lecture on the standard deviation and variance. There you will find about this form, formula. It is given by f x i, that is our p i into x i square minus mu square. This we have one. What is this? Let's find this one. This is first is 0 xi so i am leaving it then we have fxi is uh, sorry pi is 4 by 9 into 1 square plus uh, this is 2 plus 2 by 9 into 2 square that is 4 plus 1 by 27 into 3 square that is 9 minus mu square so what this will be this is 4 by 9 then 8 by 9 and then you can say 3 by 9 so, 8 plus 3, 8 plus 3, 11, 11 plus 4, 15 by 9. So, that is 5 by 3. So, this is 5 by 3 minus mu square 1 square 1. So, this is equal to 2 by 3. So, we have got our variance. Variance is equal to 2 by 3. Variance is 2 by 3. Then, standard deviation is very simple. Standard deviation is root over 2 by 3. You can, this is equal to 0 0.8165. Clear? 